going to bring colour and nature to the garden. So all the creepy crawlies, insects and uh, bees are going to love it in here. It's going to be a haven for them. OK, well, we're going to start with a five-star hotel for worms out of a chest of drawers. Sounds perfect. Let's get started. Now, we're using an old chest of drawers, but you can buy wormeries in the shops that work just as well. Firstly, drainage holes with the drill. Make sure you ask an adult to help with the drilling. OK, holes drilled. What's next? Next, we need some stones. So we don't want the worms escaping from the bottom, and also it's brilliant for draining. Next is the compost. Is where they're going to be living and chilling out. And is there any rule to how much you put in? Just a good layer. Now uh, we'll get wormy. Let's get wormy. So you have to remember not to touch them because it burns their skin. OK. I love that we're building our own little workforce here, but it's, it's brilliant. Newspaper goes in to help keep things moist, and then some food. Last night's food scraps. OK. So mainly vegetables and stuff like that. Make sure you collect all those greens. And just like a fine layer of it. You want to tend to your wormery to make sure you're getting really, really, really good compost. Wormeries can produce nutrient-rich compost in just a few weeks by adding food and water little and often. But remember, worms don't like acidic foods, so steer clear of lemons, onions or garlic. So, the wormery's finished and now we need to add some colour to the garden. So, we're going to plant some flowers. Wildflowers are the simplest ones. We don't have to look after them too much, just give them a water and you're away. Because obviously not everybody yeah. has a garden, some people have a balcony or... Yeah, you can do them sort of incy-wincy wildflower meadows in pots or um, Lee's even done it in a shoe before, an old boot. Really? Brilliant. Okay, and then we're going to use our worm compost. Okay, and then we've got our wildflower seeds. Are these going to be big flowers, little flowers? Okay. About around here. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely. Right, OK, cool. That's right. gonna, it's going to bring colour and nature to your garden. Should we find somewhere over there maybe to put it? Yeah. Yeah? Excellent. With the wildflower pot sorted, next is a new home for some four-legged friends, a frog village. We need a hole, an old washing-up bowl, water and some frog-friendly plants. Thank you. In it goes. This goes in. How did you learn to do this? Did you look it up online? Or did you... Um, you really have to use your imagination, and that's with the whole of garden. You want to be able to recycle, upcycle, and just be imaginative in the garden. That looks good. Why have the pond for the frogs separate from the pond for the fish? The fish in this pond would eat the frog spawn, and we don't want that to happen. We want the frogs to flourish here sure. in the garden. Okay? So it's better to leave the fish to hang out over there and the frogs to have a bit of a party over here. Now you just have to sit and wait. Don't go and try and grab frogs from elsewhere to put sure. them into the garden. Let the frogs come to you. So okay. uh, sit back, relax and wait. There is one finishing touch though. Every frog village needs to have. And that is of course its very own frog plaque to tell all the frogs where they are. Genius, what a successful day. So that's it, garden finished. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. We're not finished yet. There's more work to be done, Barney. Uh, Hey guys, look, there's a squirrel. Let's skip to the good bit.